Fresno, California is home to one of the largest sick communities in the U.S. It's a place where community leaders say they've fallen victim to post-9-11 prejudices, marginalization, and even hate crimes. The National Sick Campaign is trying to change that, in part by embracing an iconic American pursuit. Vice News went on the field on the 4th of July as Six in Fresno hosted a minor league baseball game in a new effort to change public opinion, one pitch at a time. My name is Mata, and today I'm going to be throwing the first pitch. But I might not be able to throw it straight. No, it's okay. You just want to make sure you can get it to him. Ladies and gentlemen, throwing out our first pitch, the f representing the Fresno chapter of the National Seek Campaign, let's welcome Natab Singh. Okay, you just gotta make sure you get it to that guy. You good? No, that's the question. Yeah. Yeah. Away, yeah. Yeah. America has a lot of sports, but baseball is probably one of the most interactive with the community itself. The biggest thing with the sick community is that they don't fit in well with the with the current community right now, everyone's still trying to learn how to fit in. And I think baseball is kind of like fitting in with the rest of the American community, and I think that's why they chose baseball. I've been to a few Grizzly games, and I've never seen so many people of my faith here. I've never seen so many bright turban colors, people walking around, saying hello to each other. It's great. It's a great feeling. Blue and red, 4th of July, had, had to keep it the American colors. Being a Sikh who is celebrating this in the midst of all other cultures at a baseball game today, it's great because I am able to show other people what my community stands for and show them that we are an integral part of the community as well. And growing up within the Central Valley, it's a place where there is diversity, but not very much understanding of other faiths or uh, types of people. Study after study, it showed that uh, fellow Americans do not know who we are, where we come from, what Sikhism stands for. And that's what this awareness campaign is all about. We want to make sure our fellow Americans know um, who Sikhs are, what the disturbance stands for. This is my first time going to a baseball game. We don't really go out and do sort of public things because we don't, you know, anywhere you go, you get stared at, you people wonder about you. So you're thinking, it's better off I just stay alone. You know, in middle school, uh, Osama bin Laden, that was the time he got killed. And say, oh yeah, they shot your uncle. You know, what do you feel about that? Me, not, not even being Muslim, you know, just me being, wearing a turban and him wearing a turban, Osama wearing a turban, you know, that they, they find that relation and think it's the same being looked down upon by the way you look, you know, that makes me feel less American because America is all about uh, diversity, distinction, and being different than everyone else, not just being like a part of something just because you look like them. Fitting in is, um, it's, it's kind of like the American dream, you know, you know, everyone comes here and everyone wants to be treated the same, you know, not based off what their race is, what, what they look like, you know, what they wear or um, their sexuality or anything like that. People should know about Sikhs that we've really endured a lot of things, like many other religions and faiths. But we're, all we're really asking for is acceptance, a little patience, and a little bit of open-mindedness. 